Hey guys, this is Beth. I'm your Muscle and Mascara Mama, and today we are going to start our Beach Bash, and we're going to talk all about tanning and bronzer. So we're close to summer. I'm looking outside, and it's so cloudy. But regardless, we all want that wonderful tan, and even when we are not in the summer months, if they can't tone it, tan it. So this is where our beachfront collection starts to come in. So I'm gonna to talk today about our two self-tanning products. So we've got our self-tanning lotion, and then we also have a self-tanning spray. Now, uh, the difference between the two was mostly preference. Some people like the spray, some people like the lotion. Um, they basically do the same thing. Um, however, the spray is a little bit uh, more dense in the coloring agent. Um, so this is great for your face, uh, your chest area, everything else goes on really, really well with the lotion. So I'm going to talk today about how to apply it, um, but first we're going to talk about how we prep. Um, the main thing is planning in advance. <clears throat> so 24 hours in advance is when you want to prepare your skin. So that means exfoliating, that can just be with a loofah, you just want to get that last dead layer off of skin, okay? So just a loofah um, or any of those, some of them have oils in them, so be careful and that's exactly why I say 24 hours. Uh, but you just want to get that dead skin off, so just loofah all over your body. Um, and then make sure you shave, so your legs especially. Um, and then waiting that 24 hour period really is going to make it um, better for that coloring agent to um, sink into your skin. Once you have all of those things done, um, going forward, your color will last as long as your natural uh, regeneration process. So however often your skin naturally exfoliates, that's about how long the coloring will last. The second part to that is that you can build your color. So after your first application, if you're not as dark as that you're hoping, keep going. You can add uh, more applications to get that desired color um, and then continue on. So we're gonna talk first about the lotion. <clears throat> And I love the applicator. So you can do this with your hands. Because the color seeps in so quickly, uh, you wanna make sure that you wash your hands with soap and water, even during your applications, um, because it does work that quickly. You're gonna get some color right away, and then it will continue to um, unfold, if you will, for the next couple hours. This comes in our collection, which I'll talk about later on, but um, you basically wet this sponge and it really helps to smooth things on. If you use your hands, you want to make sure that you're not rubbing it in like you want a lotion. This is going to sink into your skin. Basically rub it on, not in. So I'm going to get this wet here quick. <clears throat> and then you just want to squeeze it dry because you don't want this to soak up any of the uh, coloring agent that we have. So we're going to start with the legs. You're just literally going to pop one of the legs up here and we are going to use a tiny bit, not as much as you think you're going to do, um, on your leg. So if you can see, just that tiny little, tiny little blip and then we're just going to work it in with circular motions. So it does have a dark color to it, um, which is nice because you can see where it's applying right away. I'm going to add just a tiny bit more. Um, so circular motions all throughout your skin. When it comes to ankles, feet, elbows, knees, I basically take what's left over and just do a quick sweep. So not the same amount of color that I did everywhere else, but just a quick sweep. So I'm doing this kind of lightly here. Oops, that's a little bit much. And again, just blend it in. Go back over the leg because I got a little bit much on here. So again, remember <laughs> the self tanner. Everywhere the self tanner goes, uh, the color goes, and you just want to make sure that you're getting all the places that you want um, that are going to be showing. And again, quickly over the knees. So I'm going to do one leg and then I'm going to, um, and one arm, and for this video purpose, and then let you see what that color difference looks like. All 
All right, so then we're gonna move on to the uh, stomach here, and I'm just gonna re-wet it again just to kind of smooth that process again. <clears throat> Again, this can also be rubbed in with your hands as well, just to kind of show you that option. If you have trouble getting your back, make sure someone does that for you. I'm just going to rub off all over here, working up to that swimsuit line. It's best to do this like right after you're, you get out of the shower and you're in your bathroom with no clothes on. Um, but for this purpose, we're going to keep them on. Um, I like to kind of know where my swimsuit line is as well. And then we're going to do one last application with the arms. And again, just rubbing that color in, making sure you get up and over. And this is basically like a buffer tool. Making sure you get that color to spread. Again, I barely hit anything when it comes to uh, elbows. Just a quick sweep. Same thing with the hands. Good. So we're done rubbing all this in here and then I will use my um, spray here to show you the second part. So simple as that. You can see again where that color starts to come in uh, once I wait about an hour, you'll get to see kind of that whole difference. So I'm going to let this dry. A uh, good wait 10 minutes after you put it on before you put on any clothes. You really want to make sure that that dries. Um, it is very fast acting. It's got a lot of awesome stuff in it. So it's not only tanning your skin, but it's nourishing and hydrating your skin as well. So you get that really, really nice deep glow. So I will be back to show you the body spray.